Yeah, this morning we're taking you out to Lavernia, where one viewer said he's found the best spot to grab a burger, especially when it comes to their patty melt. So Lexi Hazlett went to check it out herself on this week's Neighborhood Eats. I'm building a brand. I really want to be the next big burger place. I think it's everything, the seasoning, the product that I use. It really does make a difference. And because we do it all fresh. They're going to bring you a Texas experience like no other. You got to have a patty melt when in the Lone Star State. And there's, it's going to be an experience. The minute we developed the patty milk, it is hands down one of the best sandwiches I've ever had. The cheesy, the juiciness of the meat, and the Texas toast is a good blend. Specific ways of how we put that burger together makes a difference. Now this, this is a good patty melt right here. Hence the name. Burgers are their specialty. But they've got other items that also make a jaw drop. Literally, I ate that whole thing. Our inside out sandwich is basically a sourdough toast. And we put all of our eggs, and cheese, and bacon inside a sandwich and we toast our shredded cheddar cheese on the outside. It's a nice little cheesy crust, crunchy, juicy. If you like a cheesy sandwich, that is on point. I might deem this one my favorite. They open at 7 a.m. every day, so their breakfast is also on another level with a stuffed chicken and waffle. A breaded chicken patty and we deep fry it to perfection and we bake that inside of a Belgian style waffle. Crumbled bacon, the syrup, put the waffle mix on top of that and it encases it perfectly into that really good sandwich. This small town Texas restaurant embodies what it means to be a local business built on hospitality. We have people from Pleasanton, Cibolo, the north side of town that will drive here to have a good burger just because we have made it special like that. They're chasing their dreams hoping to bring in new faces who haven't tried those tasty menu items. I have a quote that I'm going to coin. There's no place quite like this place, anywhere near this place. So this must be the place. Lexi Hazlett, Kins 5, Neighborhood Eats. Man, did y'all see those juicy burgers? Ugh, that is a place that you got to check out this weekend. But with that said, I did want to share. This is my last week at Kins 5, and that was my final Neighborhood Eats. But I can't imagine a better way to go out. And I want to thank you, my Kins 5 family, for welcoming me with open arms. All of you are just so talented, and I'm grateful to have worked alongside such amazing people. I also want to thank my parents for being my biggest support system and watching literally every single segment that I do. And the locals who have gone on camera and told me their story, I really appreciate you. And all of you who have enjoyed Neighborhood Eats and shown your support for the restaurants and the food trucks over the years, I will cherish these memories always. So God bless y'all. Signing off, I'm Lexi Hazlett for Kins 5. I'm not crying here, Maggie, but I know, I know that Lexi will, whatever she chooses to do, will be as successful in a new field or whatever she decides as she was here at Kins. Absolutely. We love she, Lexi. We love her. She's a rock star. Big, big loss for us, but hopefully we can keep her around. Stay tuned. I know that she'll have some updates for you guys. I, I know. Up. Wait, and before we, because I know you're going to relate to this, Maggie. Did you see the bite of that sandwich? It would have ended up all over my shirt. Instead you know, uh, yeah, don't put both of us in there. We got to get bibbed up before we take that sandwich on for sure. And we do need to. So we'll get to that later. But guys, for now,